Hello YouTube land. It's past three o'clock and the rain has just stopped. Clear skies now. <laughs> and the goats won't go anymore. I don't think so. I'll try. But usually in this type of weather they don't want to go out anymore. So that means more works for me. Instead of sitting with the kids, I'll be out here and everywhere getting leaves for them. They need leaves especially now that um, they are uh, they had just delivered their babies and uh, they need to produce milk for their babies. Yeah, and right now guys, I have a shortage of mulberry leaves. My variety of mulberry here in the farm is uh, from Thailand that William brought back uh, brought uh, back in 2016. Yeah, and um, this variety has smaller leaves than what is available here in the Philippines. I mean, mostly available here in the Philippines. Uh, I get those other variety from the neighbors because uh, the kids don't eat them because of super small fruits and but it's, it has bigger leaves it's more favorable for um, my goats <laughs> yeah so they give it to me they want me to clear that uh, mulberry there <laughs> it keeps growing it's kind of a perennial because like it just grows so easy guys like even if you just put in the water or put in um, uh, like a 24 7 wet ground or wet wet soil it just grows it's like moringa it's like the madri di cacao like that and um, i'm gonna show you why i have shortage of mulberry right now guys stay tuned so at the moment guys i have um plenty of mulberries here in the farm and this is one of the originals like it was a tree that william brought from thailand and um, it was planted here and there that was a brush cut by the boy uh, our previous helper and what when this this area here is not yet a storeroom and no garage yet there is one mulberry there beside the passion fruit and we move it to I'll, i'm gonna show you later uh, to the uh, beside the farm road so right now guys this has so many leaves after william trimmed it off or pruned it off and um yeah it's it's kind of la fruiting so much right now you can see this uh where we pruned it's like fruiting so much in this uh portion it's still small ish but like when it's close to uh the right maturity of ripeness how you call it? the right the ripeness like it will become like this it's just so much right now guys and like i don't wanna waste it like this morning i took some i'm gonna show you i'm gonna insert in this video and um yeah like not some are not really obvious because it's still green like this and like those on top like this but it's just so much i don't want to waste it if anybody of you wants this you just come to the farm and uh yeah it's just so much this is just one tree guys just one tree the other day I was pruning when uh, when Melly uh, had her babies, had her triplets, and like I couldn't get any because uh, this was still green, and like ev like every branch has a uh, fruit like this, guys. It looks like nothing, but if you look up close, look, it's all fruits over there. Even this that I pruned to give to like e the e the mamas earlier that gave birth. See, it's fruiting so much. So, I just don't want to hurt this plant. <laughs> like this one, mo uh, the, this uh, portion, the goats would love this very much because the stem is still green. Even the stem, guys, my goats eat. Like this, fruiting. So, this one, I want to save it, but like I want to let it grow more. What do you have, Paul? Oh, it's still so messy at the moment, guys, from the storm and uh right now we have a helper uh jet boy but like we needed him to prioritize uh doing things heavy stuff with william because as you know william's issue with his belly yeah so this is the one of the three original 
fruits that we have we that we got that um we got from thailand and right now it's also the same thing it's uh, fruiting so much it's not so obvious yet because some are still greenish like this mm. and um see there's one at the back and this here is one a uh, one two three four five so five in this uh, row and um, also all fruiting like even there guys see those greens there i don't know if you can identify but no mulberry at all Actually, guys, I just planted from that uh, first uh, tree from the original plant. And uh, look at this, the birds wasted it. And some chickens are eating it. Look. So the, that's why, like, whenever I harvest, I do it in the morning. It's like, it's like this. Uh, it's so short yet, and um, like, it's looking like a vine. So I just kind of um, hang it there. Yeah. I'm looking for a branch that uh, I can give to Melly for more milk production. Look at this. Who loves mulberries? Here comes the farm. Like in this, uh, even you know, like this, even the smallest um, branch, it has fruits. Let's go to this reclaimed area. As uh, if you're a long-time subscriber of uh, William, you know that this is a creek before. Like from there, here, this is all creek and. this morning it's already matured once this is the right maturity for me i don't want it super dark like i want to leave some like this maroon type of thing so that it will have like a, a sourness hello Marie. yeah so it's nothing guys like oof ants oh bugs bugs It's five o'clock somewhere, and there's Aya at the gate, <laughs> snacking. So this is it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. This has been my Pinachi Chats. And before I end this vlog, I want to say happy birthday, Christos Tatarakis, in Blue Mountains, Australia. Where is it? Blue Mountains, Australia. <laughs>